been a while since I recorded some videos, so getting used to uh, the setup again. Um, when you do something consistently for many weeks and then um, you skip a few weeks and kind of get back into the groove of things, you might forget some things, but for the most part, I think I have everything set up um, for the recording. Been away for, uh, like I mentioned, uh, two weeks from recording these videos. So we're back and uh, should be every week now. Uh, so for those of you who were looking for the videos and been missing them, don't worry, I'm back. And so let's get started with this next one. So here we go, let's do the intro. What's going on everybody? Claudio Zavala Jr. here and thank you for stopping by once again to check out this video and the others and for those of you who are new to this channel, thank you so much for uh, checking it out. So a while back, um, someone had asked me how I record these videos on my phone and then share them on my screen and I've kind of superimposed the video from my phone into the video and it looks like it's an actual phone and being scrolled through. So what I thought today is I'd share a little trick that you can do yourself uh, in Premiere Pro to superimpose a, a video or place a video in certain areas of your screen and, and make it look like it's actually playing a video within a video. A really cool trick and so to show you how to do that i'm going to go ahead and jump into adobe premiere here so let's go ahead and check it out okay so you're checking out my adobe premiere workspace here i've already imported sample videos and sample backdrop so what i'm going to go ahead and do is drag these two images here onto my timeline and so now if you look on the upper right corner you can see i have those two images there and what I'm going to do is superimpose some videos right here and right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Really, really easy. Uh, first one I'm gonna do is drag this video on to the next layer here. And we can go ahead and turn off the audio or, or mute it because I do not want it. And let's go ahead and let's match up the scrub line there. And what we're going to do, I'm going to actually trim it right there. Um, let me go ahead and delete that. What I'm going to do is come over here, do effects and look for corner pin. There it is. I'm gonna drag that effect onto this layer. And then what I'll be able to do is on this image here, double click there, you can see those handles there let's go ahead and make this a little bit larger so you can see and just maybe these corners down and see there kind of close uh, so now we'll just, just rotate this around and just takes a little bit of fine tuning here and close to where it is click out still see some say an outline there let's go ahead and come back down here so we can see our video there let's just just make this a little bit larger and there that's pretty much it let's play it let's give a preview there let's bring down the quality here there it is you can see, look at that, how easy that was. Next, I'm going to add a video into this image here, but if you notice, it is a bit askew. The top is actually shorter than the bottom. That's okay, we can still use corner pin. Let's go ahead and drag the clip here. I'm going to trim the excess here. And then head on up to effects again. I still have corner pin selected. Let's drag that over here. And then I'll head over to effect controls here and scroll down until I see corner pin. And if you notice now the video clip has four unique handles, a circle with the 
crosshair between. What I'll do now is click and drag those to their respective corners. I can zoom in to get a more precise placement, but I'm not going to worry about that. Right now, I'll drag this one down here. A little more adjusting over here to get rid of that glare in the background. And lastly, let's grab that corner and place it over here. So now we can hit play and check it out. Perfect. All right, that's how easy it is to superimpose videos. Uh, you could even superimpose static images over other layers, superimpose them over video layers as well. So you can have a video playing with other videos uh, superimposed in different areas. And that's how easy it is. Just use the corner pin effect, adjust the corners, drag them out or rotate whichever way you want to do it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this first video back after a uh, short hiatus. Would appreciate if you would leave some comments in the section below. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't done so, do click the subscribe button. It should be somewhere here. And uh, have some other videos here if you want to check out. Thanks again for stopping by. Until next time, take care, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.